can't give it to her. Boy, it ain't nothing. It's all about Jesse Jackson and how great he was. Change. We're trying to get to change. Jesse Jackson was there to make it change. Okay, Jesse, my brother Jesse. All right, I'm a little older than Jesse, but not that. Brother Jesse Jackson. Let's give him a round of applause as he's coming in. When I was born, the president's name was Roosevelt. Damn. You know, Roosevelt. Franklin, not Teddy. <laughs> Thank you very much. My girlfriend here is telling me move on, so I'm going to let that out. Jesse, do that. Okay. Give it up, give it up for legend. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mr. Mick Benzo, can you join us, please? Woo! This is Mickey Benzo, Reverend Jackson. He's going to tell you why he's a living legend. My name is Mick Benzo. I'm from the Boogie Down Bronx, a place called Bronx River, the home of guards. In 1973, I was with the Universal Zulu Nation, one of the co-founders. In 1974, we created something called hip-hop, whether you like it or not. We are the first family of hip-hop. I've been able to successfully work with people like Lord Finesse, King T, Melly Mel, Fat Joe, Big Pun, and I gotta say, Ice T. I've been with him for 36 years. Why shouldn't I be a legend? We created this. We didn't create the turntable, we didn't create records. What we created was music. <laughs> Reverend Jesse Jackson, I respect you. Ran, you ran for president of the United States of America, though. See, they, they didn't realize how much we, you and Martin Luther King put this foot down and y'all worked hard for it. Tell them why Kango's a legend. Kango was the first of many, the first hip hop Haitian artist, the first artist with a product, first product endorsed artist. Kango. He can rain, sing, rap, dance in just one show, but he's also, more than anything, an amazing father. You can see it in his kids, his youngest and his oldest stand here in front of you today. His son, amazing producer. So yes, my, my dad definitely was one of the first to do a whole lot in this industry. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm proud every day, especially with coming to events and seeing everybody acknowledge him as beautiful. myself and my family out of that neighborhood to become a, a, a humanitarian philanthropist and, and a, a entertainer from the time I was 19. New York raised me on Deaf Comedy Jam. And right now to stand here and say I'm running for mayor of Washington, D.C. means a lot to me. And I think that is a beautiful way to say we are a living legend. So I thank this brother right here for coming to Savannah State University in 1987 when he was running for mayor or maybe 85 but i know i saw him and he inspired me you know and he said up with hope down with dope and we meant that so keep hope alive y'all keep hope alive we, we gonna have keep the first mc of hip-hop mr coke larock Why are you legend, sir? Thank you, thank you. First of all, let me greet, thank you, Mr. Jackson. I met Ali and now I met Mr. Jackson. So it's nothing more, I need to go. And in hip hop, I'm the first MC, but thank you, Shania, for inviting me, for giving me this award. 
because they tried to erase me. But I'm not mad at that, you know, because I'm a man of my own level with a stepping stone. But I'm the patent of hip hop, no disrespect to hip hop. Hip hop go the good, the bad, and the ugly. But once again, it's about love and us as people being who we are. And, and I'll be 67 next month, so ain't no young puppy in me either. I'm just walking around strong, but hip hop give that. And my team bring me back, Lucky Bling, Happy, the one and only, you know. And it's a pleasure to be here. You know, and hip hop is forever. Look, they put B-Boys in the Olympics. What's up, what's next? And I ain't got much to say, just thank y'all for acknowledging the one and only Coke LaRock. Kings and Queens, first of all, giving honor to the legend, the philanthropist, the most, one of the most amazing human beings on the planet Earth, Reverend Jesse Jackson. We pay him homage. Can we get a round of applause for Reverend Jackson, please? And his family as well, who is here, team. Um, can we turn that down for a second, real quick? Mr. No Headphones, where you at? Mel Star, what's good, my little brother? Um, first and foremost, I want to say thank you. I heard the suggestion of, of suggesting, telling you why I'm a legend. Um, I don't feel that way because there's a gentleman by the name of Reverend Jackson and a guy named Quincy Jones. And so I've got a lot of work to do to get that title of legend. But I do appreciate the accolades. Um, I'm from a place that you just met one of, you just met one of the legends from my hometown. His name is Pete Brock. So proud of him. He used to be in the basement with Eddie F and I and just on those turntables every day. There's another young man in the building, Mr. A B right here, Butler, who basically raised all of us in the streets of Money Earn and Mount Vernon. Um, so I thank you. I appreciate you for the tutelage. You know, you know I used to be a little knucklehead in the streets and he would bop me upside the head, boy, go home to your mama. You know, stay out these streets. So I appreciate you. He told me to go get in the studio and make a cassette tape. Those of you who are old enough to know what a cassette tape is. Right? What's a cassette? You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Um, but I want to say thank you so much. But I do have something fun to share with you. First of all, I need to give a big shout out to my, my amazing son. 